This is the all-new SEMA board, SEMA Blade 7700. SEMA board's latest and greatest invention when it gets to power-saving microcomputers. Extremely affordable hardware for what it can do and for what it offers. Forget Raspberry Pis, this right here is the new kit in town and it's looking way better too. You can very easily set it up, customize and configure it for a multitude of tasks like a personal NAS system, a DIY VPN, a software router, a media server with high-res 4K streaming or for smart home appliances and of course much much more. It is especially designed for makers and DIY enthusiasts. It also has a great ecosystem of accessories but is it actually as good as it looks? Let's find out. I got the new drip from a Zima board, the Zima Blade 7700 with a few accessories. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. Yeah, now let's check it out. So here we go, four boxes, tons of accessories as you can see. Let's get out the hard disk tray. Let's get this out of the way first. Foam protection and the actual tray. We have it right here, really nice. We have the 16 gigs of RAM memory stick right here as well. Looks like that, 16 gigs. Other side looks the same. And then we also have the power source brand right there. And in here we have, first of all, different adapters, UK, EU, US, and of course, the brick with USB-C for the device and the brick itself with all these specs. And we can just do it like this, open and close, perfect. Snaps in place nicely, power brick. And lastly, the board still wrapped up. So let's get rid of that, there we go. That's the top, looks absolutely epic, great design. Some of the features right there, this right there, more features actually ports right there, or is it just a cool design, don't ask me. Either way, I love it. And here we have a small print as well as the features. Let's open up this box, look at that, reclaim your cloud, love to see that, all the paperwork, the device itself. And down here we have the rest of the cables. So let's move to the accessories right away. As you already saw, we have the tray, nice rubber feet on the bottom. So this will be just like that, great stability. We already saw the brick and the adapters. The RAM stick, we will get two of these stickers, as well as this cable, SATA right there, to the single SATA and four pin. And we will also get a really nice USB-C to USB-C cable, nicely sleeved, cool connectors. Love the design, let me pull out. Wow, looks amazing. And lastly, we have the paperwork. So we have the thank you letter on the other side, a QR code, love the design. And of course the manual on this side and also this side right here, really cool. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. Wow, look at that, it looks beautiful. As I said countless times, I love the design, transparent, top cover, so nice and so small and so power efficient. I can't wait to set it all up. And the device itself, the blade, it has a transparent top and we still need to insert the RAM, for example. We have a PCIe slot 2.0 on this side. On this side, we have the SATA 3.0, two times and the indicator. This side is just blank. Well, nice cooling metal right there looks really nice. And on this side, we have mini DP, Ethernet, USB and USB-C. And on the bottom, we have four nice rubber feet. Great stability, really nice. And it just looks awesome. Wow, super small and beautiful, but don't underestimate this little fella. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up and then of course test it. Before inserting the RAM stick, just a note for you, if you plan on doing the NAS build, there is the dual tray add-on right here, super useful, and you can place the SEMA blade on top like that, fits perfectly. But in the box you will only get the single SATA cable, so if you plan a dual HDD NAS build, get yourself the dual cable with the SEMA blade, it's a separate add-on. And with that set, let's insert the RAM stick, you can see the slot up here, and for this we just need to remove the plastic shell and we can just basically pull it off like so. There we have it. So we have the outer shell and for the transparent one we have two screws, two tiny ones. So let's get them out. One and two. And now we can remove the transparent plexiglass and there we have it. So let's insert the stick. It's only possible like that. Press it in. 
push it down. That was a nice snap, very satisfying. And this once more, tighten the screws. You have to screw quite a bit, but eventually there we have it. And the beautiful shell will snap on just like that. And there we have it. And now the only thing that you have to do would be to power it and then to plug it into your network. Power over USB-C. We have a status LED in here and on the same side, network cable into the router. Simple as that, so let's go. Connecting to the Zima Blade is actually really easy. You just go to findzima.com, that is new. And down here we have the quick scan, so let's see if it will find it. No device found in LAN, rescan, okay, no luck. So let's go back up and download the Windows client. No problem, so we can check that out as well. Initializing and let's go. Okay, so scanning once again. Oh, so that's the progress bar right there. So this might take a bit of time. Okay, so I will see in a bit. Both of these finders will in the end give you the IP address and this will lead you to the welcome page of Casa OS. This is a fully fledged operating system that's pre-installed. You can switch it up to other operating systems as well, but Casa OS on its own is actually extremely versatile and powerful. So let's create an account. Okay, let's go, create that account. And just like that, it's done. Okay, let's accept that, why not? And here we have it, Casa OS. As you can see, this is a widget-based or tile-based dashboard. And most of these tiles are interactive, so we can change the time display right here. We have the system status. In many cases, we can expand CPU, RAM. Let's close that up again. We have the onboard storage. We could easily extend it with an external drive with the SATA cable. Here we can also access the storage manager. And right here, we can also add more drives very easily. Here we have the network status. We have a search bar right here. Let's see. And this will open up a search for the given word. We can manage the apps right here and we can also add an external link for example. Okay, let's connect. Then up here we have two nodes basically. So this will prompt us to the app store to install programs. As you can see, there is a lot. And right here, check this out. You will also get the Discord link. Links to socials are also down here in the lower right corner. You can support feedback. You have Discord, GitHub, as well as a share functionality. Okay, and lastly, we have the apps down here. I have created two of these test external link sites. When we click on it, this will open up Google and this one test.com. And just like that, we can also delete them or also modify them over the settings. Perfect. Let's delete this one as well. And as I said, right here, we have the apps. We can sort them, drag and drop for sorting them. But before we check out the app store, here is the file manager. We have the root with the Casa OS, all the system data right there. In here, we also have the data folder, which is right here. So that's better. And here we have all the other folders, documents, downloads, gallery, as well as media. And of course, all of these folders are just empty as of now. We can add locations right there. We can connect to Google Drive, to Dropbox or to OneDrive extremely easily. For example, OneDrive, just sign in, same for Google. Drive, it will connect automatically. And we also have files drop. You can drop files onto the Simu Blade thanks to this. And we also have a guide for sharing folders. So as I said, super powerful operating system. And what's even better are all the apps from the App Store. Casa OS is making use of Docker containers and all these apps are containers that you can install with just a few clicks. So as you can see, it's just downloading it and then installing it. And we can do this in the background while browsing for more apps. So this is AdGuard. This is like Pihole, which is a global ad block. So if you configure the Sima Blade as a software router, then you can install Pihole or AdGuard, configure them, and then you can download IP collections, you know, from advertising servers and it's amazing. So this is Edgard right there, extremely powerful, very easily to set up. And when it's done, it will look like this. Here we have the dashboard and look at this sheer amount of queries and blocked ads. It's absolutely insane. This will not only block ads, but also viruses, malware, all of that good stuff. And this will work over filters, over DNS block lists. And we have it right here. These are all my block lists right there. So spam, malware. So this is one app that I would highly recommend to look into. Pihole is very similar to that, but there is of course also much, much more. In the first Simo board video, I installed and demoed Home Assistant, yet another amazingly powerful app 
for home automation. Open source, you can connect to all sorts of smart home devices, aside from Google, Amazon Assistant, to tons of IoT and third-party devices. And again, with just a click, you can install it. And whatever it might be that you want to do, whether it's software routing applications or home automation or a media server, there are different options of Docker container programs available for you. All the popular ones are available right here. And we also have AI utilities. You can also run ChatGPT on the SEMA board. For this, you will need additional hardware, goes without saying but all the core programs you can install and run them on the SEMA Blade. We also have download managers, you name it. Plex, that's a very popular streaming app, a massive collection of awesome apps and all of them can be installed very easily and they are also handled very nicely by the powerful SEMA Blade 7700. Massive onboard storage for countless apps, massive RAM, check this out, just 5%, even though we're already running three and the CPU is also powerful, great cooling. So as you saw, a great hardware plus software combination that is extremely versatile and whatever the use case might be, the SEMA Blade 7700 has got you. Massive thumbs up from my side. So as you saw, we are talking extreme versatility in a super tiny form factor. It looks very sleek. I love the design. Just like the original Zima board, it looks unreasonably amazing. So there is no need to hide this device. If I implement this in my flat or anywhere else, I would proudly present it. No question about that. Aside from the great design, the hardware is also top notch and can handle all the mentioned applications and use case scenarios easily while only running at 10 watts max. The mean is actually only six watts. Just six watts of power. Can you imagine this? It is super power efficient. So to recap, it is a very affordable, energy and cost efficient, powerful mini computer slash home server that natively runs Casa OS, but also many other operating systems if you choose so. It features a quad-core CPU and in our case a 16 gigs DDR3L RAM stick. We have USB-C 3 as well as dual SATA connectivity. 4K 60 Hz streaming is no problem at all. And we also get a PCIe 2.0 X4 expansion port. And on top, you can also use it for AI use case scenarios. For example, an auto GPT server. In other words, this device right here can function as a personal NAS server, as a 4K streaming media server, a VPN router and IoT gateway to name just a few other use case scenarios. We have dimensioned pre-installed Casa OS right out of the box that enables Docker container installs with just a few clicks, super easy, super fast and completely free. So say goodbye to your monthly cloud subscription fees and just get yourself one of these. It will pay for itself over a very short amount of time. Get yourself the Zima board, Zima Blade 7700 because this thing right here is definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button and subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.